Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, the former Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala accompanied President William Samai Ruto to Baringo County for a, a Sunday service. After that service, they proceeded to State House in Nairobi. And then later, this is what Cleophas Malala shared on his Facebook page. I had the pleasure to join His Excellency President William Samuel Ruto for an interdenomination service at Cabernet Barigo County. We later retreated to State House for a lengthy chat on matters Kenya Kwanzaa. It is certain we have a better tomorrow. So he's giving hope, but we can see the photos he's sharing there. The first one he is in the church because you can see the men in cloth. The second one that is at the set house, Nairobi, of course, the handshake with the William Ruto. And you can see Air Force One, eh? Clefas Malala, Ameka, Dan. Those are the photos. But then, when he was in the church, this is what he said. Tuko ndani ya serikali kabisa na katikati ya serikali. Unajua hapa tunaona tuko na kina Murkomen, kina Cheriot, hao wabunge wote ambao walichaguliwa, hao kwa kizungu tunawaita the state. Lakini sisi ambao tuliumia kidogo hatukuchaguliwa na tuko hapo kando, sisi ndio deep state. Sasa mkituona mudhiranie tuko nje. Sisi ndio tunaendesha hii serikali. Na mimi nimesikia malilio ya wabunge wengi ya security chakula sisi kama deep state tunawahakikishia tutakana rais chini tutawatoa hiyo maneno yote na maneno itakuwa salama. Asanteni na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Now we are continue with the final discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and they are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a video like this one you will always get notified. Again to all our channel subscribers and on the comment those who have joined channel membership and those who are even super chatting us and have a premium, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up. And by the way, by giving a thumbs up is also another way of supporting our content. Thank you and back to our discussion. Now, we have two questions that we are asking here today on this punchline. Number one, what was Manala doing at State House? Because we are well aware that Manala is not the governor of Kakamega. Of course, it's, it's not also a senator, so he's not holding to any elective position, but he was at State House with the president. Number two, why did Manala move all the way from Kakamega to Baringo to meet the president? Those are the questions we are asking on this panel today. Now, we are all aware that Manala was not lacking to be among those who were appointed into the CS position. Again, he was not lucky to those who got a privilege to be appointed as PSS. The only thing that has remained here is the CAS position. Those are the positions that Ruto is yet to appoint, but soon he's going to make that decision because already he has shown the indication in as much these are illegal positions, he is ready to put people into those positions. So Manala is hunting for a job. That was the main reason why he moved all the way from Kakamega to Baringo and then at Nairobi in the State House. Because the discussion between Manala and William Ruto, number one will be his personal interest. What is it for him in the Kenya Kwanza government after failing as a man was running for the governor of Kakamega County. Because to some extent, Malala was playing a pivot role on William Sabaluto's campaign, especially in Kakamega. For your information, he was leading the Kenya Kwanza troops in Kakamega County because definitely he was the one vying for the governor, the highest position in county level. So he's negotiating for something, and maybe he's learning that if he continue keeping quiet, then he might end up maybe Ruto not giving preference to him in the remaining chances. And this could be the reason why 
Malala decided to meet with William Ruto on one on one and talk to him. Number two, Manala talked about the deep state, those leaders who are not elected into uh, position, elective, uh, into political position, but they tried to buy and lost. So he is referring to himself and some of such leaders who lost as the deep state, then the other leaders as the state. Indeed, we can have deep state who does not have an elective position, but they are so powerful. They are all powerful people. If you look into someone like uh, in Uhuru Kenyatta's regime, someone like um, uh, David Murade, he was so powerful man, but not in an elective position. In fact, he was just a vice chair of Jubilee Party, but so powerful more than even the chair. Okay. So, when a manada talk about the deep state, he is serious about it. But what he might not know, or a thing that Kenya does not know, is that this deep state, we all know that they are always the team that play most of the dirty game around the president in this country. Most of the dirty game. And again, they are the ones who fix things for the president. So Manala is confirming to Kenyans at large that he is part of that team. Sasa anataka wa Kenya wa seme nini wakati watawana kwa mbambaya ya kiyata kufanika because Ruto just took the office the other day. We are yet to see his colors. How far he can go when it comes to dealing with the Kenyans. But soon we will know it. Because now he's still trying to measure the reaction of Kenyans. But we know some of this deep state, they always play dirty game around the president. So in as much as saying that, he should be careful about that. Number three, Ruto sitting down with the Kilofas Malala. Definitely, they are discussing to do things to do with the 2027 general election. As I told you, Manana was playing a critical role around William Ruto in a Kamega County. Ruto, the way he's playing his cards, you can easily tell that he is not a man who has settled and ready to serve Kenyans. His focus is more of the next election. So he's already creating a campaign mode around him. And people like Cleophas Malala are good orators. So when it comes to, uh, to the campaign uh, stage, Malala can play a good role. And that is the reason why William Ruto can go to an extent to sit down with him and talk to him. So these people are scheming on the next general election, 2027. How is Western region responding? How can they manage to capture Western region. If it's reading, how can they prepare on how they can execute that? Because definitely, we know most of the lawyers, especially Kakamega, Busia, and uh, Vihiga. They voted for Ella Odinga overwhelmingly. Ruto got some few votes here and there because of the influence of Musania and uh, the team. But now, they are scheming on how they will make sure that that vote is going to their basket whether you vote for them or if they will manage to do what? Rig. Because if rigging is going to happen in the next election, it is not a decision that is being decided at the right at the last end. That is something that is always prepared earlier. They scheme on it from the word go. See how far they can convince people to vote with them and then if their numbers are not uh, are not coming out clear on what they want to achieve, then they will go for the second option, how to fix the numbers to fit the figures they want to achieve. So that will be another thing these leaders are discussing. And uh, number four, another thing I'm realizing is that 
Malala is in AMC party. Msalem Dabadi is his party leader. And again, the third most powerful person politically in Kenya. But we know constitutionally it is a uh, wetangula. The question is, uh, if Mudawadi is his leader, how does he just go direct to William Ruto jumping his party leader? So that tells you that William Ruto definitely want to have a direct contact with the leaders in the Western region, not necessarily going through Musalia Mudawadi. That is another thing that is coming out clear as so far this visit is concerned. Because now you can see a clear indication of William Ruto trying to elbow out Musalia Mudawadi. So that in case he has something to do on the ground in Kakamega, he simply just take a call and uh, wire it to Cleophas Malala. Not necessarily going through Musalia Mudawadi. So similarly, this is also another way of disrespecting Musalia Mudawadi. He has to reach out to Musalia Mudawadi using uh, to Musalia Mudawadi people using the right link, Mudawadi himself. You don't see Mudawadi in that function. He was not there at setups with him when he was uh, having that meeting with the president. I don't know what to think about that, but that's my view as far as the discussion between uh, Musalia Mudawadi, not Musalia, between uh, Malala and uh, William Ruto and the visit to Baringo. It's all about politics and the scheme for 2027 general election. Thank you. Let us meet in the comment section. I'm waiting to read your views.